You're watching Bob Bennington on CBS 10 WILM. Here's your host, Don Ansel. We're back. Our guest is uh, Brunswick County Sheriff John Ingram. 18 months into his first term, will run for re-election in uh, 2010. Uh, how big a staff do you have? Uh, right at 215. That's a lot of people to keep track of. It is. Uh, and what's your overall budget? Uh, right at 18 million. And if I'm not mistaken, Brunswick County is the second largest county uh, geographically in the state? Is that uh, no, actually it is not. Um, uh, there, there have been a number Various, of opinions on that, okay. but I think it's actually about the fifth or sixth. Oh, largest. really? Yes. It's still a big landmass. It is. Uh, to, to patrol and, and to be responsible for. Uh, is, that a t is that tough? Is it hard to put your arms around that large an area? Uh, you have people in the, you know, down in Southport, you have people over uh, uh, in uh, Bolivia. It, I mean, you're really spread out. Well, it has its challenges mm -hmm. at times. Uh, I think, you know, one of the things that we've been able to do um, is open substations. Uh, we, uh, the sheriff's office that we're currently in, the, the headquarters in Bolivia, right. um, we have basically outgrown that uh, as far as personnel. Um, and it's a very new facility, very nice facility. We're very fortunate to have it. And uh, we decided rather than continuing to expand there in Bolivia that we would expand out into the communities. And we uh, opened our first substation in Calabash um, some time ago, and it has really worked out yeah. well. We, uh, what we did is we were able to staff it with existing personnel that we have uh, rather than... Can, so that's know, where they go every morning? That's right. That's and, their uh, headquartered office? That's right. Uh -huh. And uh, we, we not only did that with um, the clerical staff, we were able to do that with the investigators that work that end of the county. We did it with the, um, the civil and warrant officers that worked that end of the county as well as the patrol deputies. And uh, we have supervisors that um, go in and out of that office. And they and report to you? That's right. Uh -huh. And uh, we... Is that, is that hard to ad administrate for you to, keep, mm. to feel like you're... No? No. Nah, I'm a hands-on person. Yeah? Yeah. You're traveling around mm. a lot to, like, to Calabash and... I do. And we have... FaceTime uh, with these people. We have uh, regular meetings with supervisors and staff. So we, uh, we stay in touch constantly, um, always... Uh, as close as a phone call if they need me. And I guess recently would be a, a, a pr proper term, bought a helicopter. We did not buy one. You did not. Yeah, it that's, was, it that's was very important to note. Um, we received the helicopter through right. LESS program, Law Enforcement Support Services, right. which is a military um, surplus program. And uh, the helicopter was given to us free. And it took uh, about 30000 to upgrade it or... We, we ended up, um, we initially had sent uh, a mechanic uh -huh. to look at the machine before we agreed to accept it, and uh, it was in very good shape uh, as far as helicopters went in the state. That OH-58 has very low hours compared to uh, other helicopters right. that are in use right now. And uh, once we did that, of course, we had to pay for that and the transportation of the machine down here. We trailered it uh, to our... Uh, mechanics facility and then uh, once we went through it we did all the uh, annual um, so it's servicing and things so it's up to speed where it, it needs to be. We have. Yeah. We, uh, we utilized it to uh, locate a, a marijuana um, grow operation uh -huh. within the green swamp. I think we ended up seizing around 110 pounds of marijuana. We made an arrest in that case and we were able to see some uh, You're assets. pleased with this purchase and you think it's going to be helpful to the department? Well, it, it, not only that, it's, it's also helped us uh, in locating a couple of uh, lost hunters not long ago. And uh, I think that it's a great asset to Who the county. It? Who flies it? We have a pilot on staff. O on sheriff staff? Or yes. Yeah. Yes. He, uh, he's actually a uh, crime scene investigator and he's uh, a pilot as and well. And this can be used by any of the departments in the county? Yes, yeah, we, it's appropriate we, to use it. We extend that um, to uh, all of the departments within the county, and we have a, a wonderful working relationship with all of our, our departments and agencies within the county, and uh, I've, I've met with the chiefs of uh, police um, on numerous occasions, and they know that uh, anytime they need that, they just 
call and we'll we'll be there assisting any way we can. What what's the hardest part of the job for you? Uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> The, That's a good answer. The, the, the media <laughs> part. I mean, I, I enjoy talking about the sheriff's office. So. I'll have to, let me interrupt you. Just say, when the sheriff came, he said, I don't really like talking about myself. So he said, I like talking about the department. And I just wanted to be transparent about that. So that uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I joke about that. Um, you know, we, we do have difficult uh, times that we have to deal with when we have to deal with um, a tragedy, uh, whether it's a fatality on the roads or... Um, a homicide and, and uh, trying to be there for those families and uh, we take um, we take that very seriously and we take great pride in in being there for our community. Doesn't it take a special personality to to do this job? Uh, uh, so, so many would feel, I, I guess I would feel overwhelmed with the responsibility that that a sheriff has, particularly of a county like Brunswick County. Is, do you ever feel I think it takes um, more of a special person to be that officer responding to a call on the road or being um, that investigator dealing with uh, someone who's been uh, victimized uh, or be, being uh, that attention officer who is uh, locked up 24-7 with the inmates that they're there to try to, to keep under control and, and maintain. Uh, I think that takes a special person. Um, I'm, uh, just an average person like anyone else and I think uh, you know I, as I've said before I just have my part to do and together we accomplish. We're almost out of time. You've not really been in the political realm although people might say everything's political. Are you looking forward to uh, to the political part of running for office? Well uh, the one part that I do look forward to is being able to speak with people throughout the county and let them know uh, who I am and what I'm about. Um, and at the same time, I'll be able to talk about the sheriff's office and what we're doing there for them. So uh, I look forward to that. Sheriff, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. I hope you come back and uh, talk with us more. We will. Next week, be sure to stay tuned. Wilmington City Council seeing some changes. We'll have the two new members of council. Uh, Kevin O'Grady and Charlie Rivenbark as our guests here on Byline Wilmington. You have a great week. You've been watching Byline Wilmington on CBS 10 WILM. Join us every Sunday morning at 11 as we explore the issues that concern you.